Hello! In this brief video I'm going to share my approach to adding magnets to Thanos from Marvel Crisis Protocol. The miniature comes with a choice of two different heads and two left arms, one with the Infinity Gauntlet and one without. I didn't bother magnetising the head because I much preferred the grinning option, but you certainly could do if you wish. You can see I've magnetised the left arm and I've also magnetised the left foot, just so I can place him on an urban themed base to match my board. All we need are some magnets measuring 2mm in diameter and 1mm thick. These are readily available online and you can find details of where I bought mine in the video description. We'll also need some super glue and a hobby drill with a 2mm drill bit. I'm starting with the foot where I'm now drilling a hole up through the sole of the boot. This might take a minute or so and I'm ok with going right through the plastic in order to create a hole that's deep enough for the magnet to sit flush. I'm now just dry fitting the magnet to check that we have a nice fit. We can then apply a small dab of super glue into the hole and wipe off the excess. Before gluing the magnet into place. I'm using Gorilla's super glue gel for this. You can see I've also drilled a counterpart hole into the base. And I'm now gluing in the magnet, making sure the polarity is the right way round by simply lowering it in whilst magnetised to the foot. Although just one magnet is strong enough to hold Thanos in place, I chose to add a second just to improve the stability. And here I'm doing the same with my urban themed base. This time I'm adding a touch of glue to the magnet itself instead of the base. If you're curious, I'm just using a piece of 5mm thick foam board to create a piece of rubble to go beneath Thanos' right foot. And I later brushed on some thinned filler or spackling paste to add some texture. Magnetising the base is a nice way to get used to the process if you've never done this before. I'm no expert myself but was less nervous about magnetising the arm once I'd practised on the base. To magnetise the forearm I'm now drilling a hole into the upper left arm which is easier to do before gluing it onto the body. We can then apply a small dab of super glue into the hole and slot the magnet into place and I find using the side of a craft knife is handy for this. You can see we have a nice flush fit. I'm now gluing the upper arm to the body with some plastic glue. And here I'm drilling a hole into the forearm. This is where we need to take care not to drill right through to the other side, but want to go as deep as we can in order for the magnet to sit as flush as possible. Now I've gone as deep as I dare, I'm going to glue the magnet into place. And I'm pushing it down to ensure it's seated as firmly as possible. This isn't quite fully flush but it's pretty close. And that's the process I used to magnetise Thanos. I hope you found the video useful. I'll be producing a full painting tutorial for Thanos very soon. Until then, do please like and subscribe, consider supporting me on Patreon, but above all, stay safe and happy painting.